song trying to prepare uh, things ready for doing some paint I've actually been out and bought some paint I've got this stuff which is called chasse and, or chasse and grill paint and it's uh, resistant to chips and things designed specifically for chassis and that and I was going to think about using that for the frame um, but I don't know what finish it is yet so uh, I'm going to play around with that and then for the uh, headlamp and uh, side panel and various other parts I've got uh, some primer filler here um, and a, uh, a gloss black um, acrylic enamel so I'm going to see if these are any good but before I do any of that I want to have a go at uh, building myself a little turntable so I can put the parts on it and spin them around whilst I'm painting them without having to try and walk around them. And to that end I've uh, been and bought well, this thing which is they sell them at tap plastics it's uh, to make you know to make a lazy Susan the thing that goes in the middle of a table um, and to spin things on it's just a set of ball bearings and a, and a little plastic holder. And so the idea is I'm going to cut a piece of this uh, plywood um, and then screw that to the Lazy Susan and then um, hopefully I won't need a base as well. Uh, and then just use that to, uh, to plant parts on and then I can screw them down and things like that so that they don't move. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll make life a bit easier for painting. So I'm going to build this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. You can drill some holes in this. Get some little, some little screws that I'm going to use. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I would say. Don't know whether I should make it glue down to a base or not, but I'll see how you go with that. Well, I think we're uh, I think we're ready to uh, at least clean it off. So. I'm going to wipe it over with some, some thinners. Mm -hmm. 
for a minute or two. Actually, as this is an epoxy, I think I'm going to put my mask on. So you may not be able to hear me very well there. Eh? Let's see how we go. Give that a couple of minutes. So it's dried off a bit, it's had a few minutes, so I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to make sure I get in underneath it here. That will do. Alright, no runs for that to see. Oh, we'll let that dry off. Let that dry off and uh, then start on the other one. I'm going to do the edges first.
Alright, grab the roof of that coat. Okay, coat number two. Okay, we'll leave that to, uh, to dry off. Third and final. Alright, that'll do. Not a bit anymore. While it's wet, I can see a few few blemishes in the surface. It looks going to need some stopper. But we'll see what it's like after it's been sanded down a bit. I'll just give it some 600. I have no idea what they call stopper here, so I'll have to go and see if I can find some. Well, let's see how they look when they're when they've been a bit sanded. <laughs> 